Hey guys, Spirit Girl here, back in another video, and I am back playing The Sims 4. So, a couple of videos ago, I made a video reacting to the Sims 4 Moschino stuff trailer, and I basically watched the trailer and went through and paused and like looked at the little things and stuff. Well, yesterday, the Moschino pack came out, and in the video where I reacted to the trailer, I said I wasn't really too sure if I was gonna buy it or not. But then, The Sims released a live stream of them playing it and stuff. So, I didn't watch the whole thing because it was like an hour long, but I kind of skipped through and it did look pretty cool. And I watched someone's review on it and I thought it looked pretty fun, so I did buy it for myself. And today I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys. So, a random thing, a little while ago I posted a poll on the community tab asking you guys if you were going to buy the Moschino pack. And I have not checked the results in a little while, so they may have changed. So let me go get my phone and show you the results. Alright, so I have my channel loaded up on my phone. Let me go ahead and go to the community tab and see what the results are for the poll. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty interesting. So I asked you guys, are you going to buy the new Sims 4 Moschino stuff pack? And the choices were, yeah, I think it'll be fun. Nope, definitely not, or I'm not sure yet. And the results are so close. So 38% say that they are going to buy it, and 38% say they're not going to buy it. So I guess it's pretty even, and 25% say they're not sure. So that's pretty interesting. It's like, it's like half and half. That was pretty funny. Anyways, back to what we're doing in this video. Today I'm going to be showing you everything that comes with the new Moschino stuff pack, all the clothing items, all of the build and buy items, and a little bit of the new career. And I'm going to be giving you my opinions on everything to help you decide if you want to buy this pack or not. Now obviously I'm going to be giving my opinions, you know, saying what I like and what I don't like. But what I say on this pack honestly doesn't really matter. It's just to show you what comes with the new pack so you can decide if you want it or not for yourself. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the create some items. So I am using Taylor Link from my Making a Sim based on her story video. If you have not seen that, make sure to go check it out. And I am using Adam from my Island Living series. So Adam and Taylor are going to be modeling the clothes for this video. So let's go ahead and start with what comes for the girls. So I kind of made these in outfits to kind of show you an example of how you could use them like on your sim. So first of all, we have a new hair over here. It's a short little bob with some bangs. It's not my favorite, but you know, it's it's not bad. It's pretty realistic, I would say. I've seen a lot of people in real life have hair like this, so you know, it's not bad. And then we have this little uh, jacket and skirt set. It's not a dress, it actually comes separately. So here we have this little um, jacket, and I actually really like this. It comes in some other colorful swatches as well. But I personally really like this light blue color. I feel like this jacket could suit a lot of sims and I actually really like it. And it does come with a matching skirt. Here it is, so it comes in the exact same color so you can match it. Now the skirt, I'm not really a big fan of. I think I would like it a little bit better if it was a little bit shorter maybe, but I don't know. The skirt isn't my favorite, but if you pair like the jacket with something else, I think it would look really cute. And then we have the only new pair of shoes from this pack. We have the, these little heels, which do come in some other colors as well. Again, very colorful. Now I'm kind of torn on whether I like these or not. I'm not really sure. They're very shiny. Um, I don't know. So moving on to the second outfit. So here, uh, first of all, we have another hair. I think this is everybody's like favorite item from the pack. It's a really nice like longer hair that's like pushed all the way back. Again, pretty realistic, I would say. I think a lot of people in real life have hair like this. Uh, but yeah, I think the hair is pretty nice. And like it has a hair touch behind the ears, so like you can put some earrings on your sim, you'll be able to see them really well. And then we have this t-shirt. It's kind of like a long, kind of baggy t-shirt. Um, it comes in this freezer bunny uh, swatch, which I don't really like. And it also comes in this like llama corn uh, swatch, which I do like a little bit better. I think I would like this a lot better if it was for children, but it's not. 
By the way, I forgot to say, this pack does not come with anything new for children or toddlers. Which I guess made sense because I don't think Mosquito makes, uh, kids clothes. But yeah, um, I think I would like this a lot more if it was for kids. But you know, it's still cute. I think it would still make a cute, like, sleepwear maybe. But I don't think I have many, many of my Sims go out in this. And this skirt is not new. It's just something from the base game. Moving on to the third outfit. So we have another new hair. This is the third and final hair. It's a short curly hair and I think it's really cute. Not a lot of my girl sims have short hair but you know maybe I can start giving my sims hair like this. But yeah I think that's really cute and then we have this two-piece set. We have a jacket and some matching shorts so <laughs> this jacket has two swatches. Two. Which you know um <laughs> that's not a lot but you can either have it in black or gold and um, you can either have it like match exactly or you can mix and match it like this. Not my favorite items from the pack, but they're okay. And moving on to the fourth outfit, we have whatever this is. First of all, we have this thing, which is a, it's like a long sleeve shirt with a tuxedo print on it, which is really random and strange. It comes in some other colors as well, but I do not like this at all. It's just really weird, in my opinion. And then we have this skirt. Now, this skirt actually looks better when it's not paired with this thing. See, if I take it off, it does look a little bit better. It's, um... This colorful skirt, it only has one swatch, which, um, but I mean, I guess it's pretty good if you want to do, like, a super colorful outfit. Not my favorite. Moving on to the fifth outfit. Now, this one I actually like. It's, it's very interesting, but cool. It's, like, this normal-looking dress, but then it also has this, like, crazy zigzag thing going on. I like it. Um, I'm not really sure if I would use it regularly on the sim, but if I had like a famous sim maybe, then I feel like this would like be a good um, red carpet look. And here are the other uh, swatches that it comes in. You can be very like simple and do this, or you can use like this pink one or this red one. I feel like a lot of these clothes you wouldn't use on normal sims, but I think they would be good for like famous sims or like sims that live in the city maybe and then moving on to the sixth outfit i really like this one we have one of my favorite items from this pack the really cute little bear dress now this does come in this swatch too which i don't like but it does have this really cute little bear swatch which comes in pink black and white and if you look closely there's actually a little bit of a texture it looks kind of furry and soft but yeah I really like this one I don't know if I would use it a lot but I like it and then moving on to the seventh and final outfits we have a plum bob swimsuit so um this is a really cute little one piece swimsuit I actually really like it I think I would use it on a lot of my sims so you have like the normal green plum bobs but you also have like some red plum bobs and some blue plum bobs. I think I really like the blue one. I think it's really cute. And then you do have some plum bob earrings to kind of go along with it. I really like these plum bob earrings. I don't know how often I would use them, but I do like them. Again, you have the normal green, but you also have pink, red, purple, yellow, any color basically. And you do have some of the same shades as the swimsuits, so you can kind of make them match. Now, at first, I thought it was kind of weird for Sims to wear plum bobs. But then I remembered that there was like a poster in Build and Buy that was a plum bob that I have placed in a lot of my Sims rooms. So I guess it's not that weird for them to be wearing plum bobs. But yeah, those are all the new items for the girls. Some of them are cute, some of them are a little bit strange. But now moving on to the boys. So first of all, we have this new hair, which is pretty nice. It looks very similar to a hair we already have, but it's not the same. It's like shaved off here, but not shaved in the middle, and it's like swept like that. I don't know how often I would use this hair, but it's still nice. And then we have the same t-shirt for the boys as we did for the girls. We have the little mosquito bunny, which I don't really care for, and we also have the llama corn thingy. <laughs> now I know that's probably not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it because it's like a llama unicorn. Again, maybe it would work better for like a sleepwear, but I don't really know if I would use this on a lot of my sims. And these aren't new, they're just some shorts from the base game. And then we have the only new pair of shoes. They're these black boots. Again, not really sure if I like these or not. They come in three swatches, black, green, and this 
orange. I really don't like the swatches for this. I really wish they had like white or tan. But again, very shiny. Um, maybe a little bit too realistic for me. I don't know. I don't really like them. Moving on to the second outfit, we have this two-piece set. So we have this jacket which has a little symbol and it comes in a lot of different swatches now i would actually really like this jacket if it didn't have that on the back now i think the front of the jacket actually looks really good and i would use it for my sims cold weather and stuff but then i found this a huge symbol and the word mosquito on the back of the shirt now i'm not really sure if i would use this i would like it a lot better if it didn't have this and then you have some matching pants to go along with it it has the same little symbol on it and comes in the same colors so not my favorite moving on to the third outfit we have a really cute little sweater now this is to match the dress that the girls have so again we have this kind of swatch thing and we have this really cute little um bear sweater i really like this especially the blue swatch i think it would work really great for a sleepwear or really cozy everyday wear or maybe a cold weather too and then moving on to the fourth outfit we have the same hair that the girls have it's the same longer hair and we have this crazy outfit so this is to match the skirt that the girls have. So we have this jacket which comes in two swatches. Really colorful and normal black. I feel like in the black it doesn't look that bad, but I don't know. And the pants are the same. Again, not really my favorite. And then the fifth and final outfit, we have this thing. I'm not really sure what that is. It's this weird, like, um... Is it princes that normally wear this kind of outfit? I think so. It's kind of like a formal prince kind of outfit, except it's using these, like, sequins, which makes it look really weird and crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's good for photo shoots or something, but I would definitely not have my Sims wear this. So those are all of the new Create SM items that come from the Moschino pack. Um, some of them are cute, but others, not so much. Honestly, I didn't really buy the pack for the clothing items. I mainly bought it for the building buy items and the new career, so yeah. Anyways, moving on to the build and buy items. Alright, so I'm in this little building here to show off every new build and buy object that comes with this pack. Again, I kind of did it in little things to like show an example of how you can use them. So let's go ahead and start with the new wallpaper. So this is the new wallpaper. Obviously, it comes in some other colors as well. It comes in this like pink and mint thing, which I really like. But it also comes in like a black and white thing and some other crazy things as well. It's very like modern. I'm not really sure if I would use it a lot, but Maybe some builders will find this wallpaper, like, helpful. So that is the only new wallpaper. And then we have some windows and doors. So first of all, we have this new door. Um, it is called the Luxury Loft Sliding Door. So I guess it's a sliding door. Um, it's see-through. It kind of looks like a window. Um, I like it. And then we have, I think, everybody's favorite item from this pack, the windows. And these uh, windows are really nice. So we have a few different types here. We have this big, wide, open window, which I think looks really nice. And then we have the same window, except it's like cracked open in the middle, which I think is really cool. And then we have a shorter version of that window if you don't want to go as crazy and use a really big window. And then we have this, like uh curved window now it does come in like a corner type theme but you can use two of them to make this really nice looking big window um yeah so those are the windows i really like them i think they look really nice now moving on to the new furniture so over here we have a little living room set up so first of all we have this new um chair and couch uh, combo it's called the one armed wonder and the sit on me now and they kind of go with each other they both come in matching swatches you have this pink one and you also have like a plain white some other solid colors and you have some crazy patterns like this and that and some more uh weird ones these would make great for like a modern kind of build um again not really sure how often i would use them but maybe builders will like them and then we have this little um coffee stand thing it might be able to be a tv stand too hold on 
Okay, yes, it can hold your TV as well. So this is a coffee stand slash TV stand. It has like this little upper bit and a lower bit and it comes in some pretty neutral colors. And then on top of the coffee stand, we have th these little clutter magazines, which I think are pretty cool. I don't think we've had anything like this before in the game. So yeah, you can just have a little like, you can just have a little like pile of magazines laying on your table, which I think is really cool. We have some swatches with this girl sim on it and some swatches with this boy sim on it. Yeah, I really like that. And then we have this really cute little, uh, what do you call this? Is it like a book holder? But it's called the Librarian. <laughs> And it's this little bear with glasses and it holds like your books. And I think this is a really cute little decoration item. We have this one here and we have some um, other ones as well. Yeah, really like that. And then under the coffee stand we have this new rug. It's called the Modern Muse Rug. And it comes in some other swatches as well. Like it has this um, polka dot one and it also has some more like modern ones and it has some stripes and yeah again not really sure how often i would use this rug but um it may come in handy for certain builds and then we have something really cool so first of all we have these two little photo frames that are just blank um you have this thing and then this one the frame looks really nice and stuff and then we have this one where it's like a little collection of photos and you're probably wondering like why would you want a blank photo frame? Well, you can actually put your sims photos in it. How cool is that? If you didn't know, lately in a patch they kind of changed how uh, the photos work. Now once you've already taken the picture you can change the filter and orientation at any time and you can also change the frame color. And you can drag it onto a table and it will, you know, turn into a little, like, stand thing. And now you can have some new ways to display your Sims photos, which I think is really cool. I really like this one. I think I'm going to be using it a lot. And these ones are nice, too. These frames look a little bit nicer than the original photo frames. But yeah, really like this new feature. And then we have this little, like, what do you call this? Accent tables, okay. So we have this little accent table. It's called the artificial end table. Wait a minute. Is it an accent table or an end table? I'm confused now. Anyways, we have this, uh, which comes in some pretty neutral colors. Not as crazy as some of the other items. And then we have this really cute little bookcase. I really like this. Um, it comes in some other swatches as well. And this is an example of where you can put the little bear thing. You can put it on a bookcase if you want. And it's a very modern looking bookcase. I really like it. You have some books here and this little thingy. And here you have this little plant that's like growing out of the bookcase, which I really like. And then we have this little thing. It's called a frosted glass room divider. So I guess you can use this to kind of like divide the rooms so you can see through, which I really like. I don't really use room dividers. I'm not really a builder, so I don't know, but maybe builders will like this, but I like never use room dividers, so. But yeah, I think that's all for this little living room area. Then moving over here, uh, we have this little area over here. First of all, we have these little lights, which I really like, except I think they're really low, which I don't like. Like if you place a table here, they're like right over it. So I don't really know why these lights are so low. Then again, this is a one-story building, so maybe if you make it a two-story, it you know, you can stick it right at the top and it won't be that bad, but you know. On a one-story building, they're very low, so I don't really like that. Then we have this little abstract piece thingy. Not really sure what it is, but you know, it can look good in modern builds. And then we have this little, uh, like, clothes hanger thing. Um, it's called Designer Samples. And it has some other swatches to change it up. Like, this one looks a little bit more fun and colorful, and this one's a little bit more plain. But you have, like, some clothes that were hanged up, and you have some shoes and a little bag here. And you can just use this to pretend, like, this is just where your sim stores all their clothes and stuff. Or you can use this in your Sims uh, photo studio, and these are like the clothes that um, the models can change into. So that's pretty cool. And then you have this little thing. It's a little shelf, which has like a bunch of camera stuff on it. Like we have some tripods, this uh, 
Is it a light thing? I'm not really sure. And a little bag and stuff. Really like this. Obviously, you can use this for your Sims with the new fashion photography career. Or I feel like you could also use this for, like, a YouTuber Sim. And then we have this thing. Not really sure what it is. It's called I'm So Shiny. I guess you could use it to, like, put something on. Like, I guess you could take anything and just, like, kind of have it on display like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, not really sure if I would use it. Um, and then here we have this really big, um, collection of photos. Again, very modern. But yeah, it's very big, which, um... I don't really sure if I would want something this big, but I guess you can use a little cheat key thingy to make it smaller if you want. But I think it's a little bit too, like, modern for me, but, you know, maybe some people will like it. And then over here we have a, like, little photography setup here. So first of all, over here we have this little, like, photo drape. Which comes in some other colors, obviously it has a plain white and some solid colors and it also has these duo colors and these patterns. And then we have this little thing over here which actually comes in handy in gameplay with a new career. Basically you can use this to have people like stand in a specific spot and you can use it to hire a um, model. And then we have this little camera stand over here. It comes in a few different colors, and you can, like, put a camera on there. And then we have some studio lights. These are called the Fashion Studio Lights Perfect Photo Floor Light, which makes the whole thing a lot brighter, which is uh, better for the pictures. And then over here, we have a really cool thing. So, so we have this thing, which is called the Fashion Studio Backdrop. So, basically, you can just take this, and you can just have it straight across, or you can use these curved pieces to make it, like, a little room thing and basically you're probably like why would you want to use this it's just plain white well in gameplay you can actually change this to a bunch of different things and it actually moves when you unpause the game which is really cool and then we have the same camera stand but this time it has a camera on top of it so this is called the click shot p10 mirrorless camera so this is like i'm guessing a pretty nice camera and you have to unlock it um it says unlock by maxing out the performance meter in the freelance career as a freelance photographer for the first time so you have to unlock that you know i haven't tested something out can you put the other cameras on the tripod so let me see here can i just take this random camera and put it on i can that's cool so you don't need, like, that fancy camera to use this tripod. You just need any camera to pop on top of it. And then we have some different studio lights. These are the Fashion Studio Lights Best Photo Shoot Light. So I'm guessing these are a little bit sp more expensive than the other one. These are 200 and these are 200 Okay, they're definitely the same. Never mind. But yeah, I really like this little thing. And then over here we have some random stuff, so we have like this, it's called an amp stack, so um, I don't really know a lot about this, but I think you use this to like, turn up volume and stuff like that, I don't really know what I'm talking about. And it comes with some other swatches as well. And I actually think you can use this for like, if your sim is like a musician or something, I think you can use this too, which would be cool. And then you have this little thing, what is this called? It's called the Photographer's Irritation. Not sure why it's called that, but it has a bunch of like little photography stuff. Like I think that's a camera lens and not sure what those are. And then we have this thing, which is like a little, uh, it's called Shiner Neon Light. It's like this little wall decoration, which is good for like studios. Um, it only comes in this purple color, which is strange, but like when you place it down, it's purple, but here in the catalog, it's white, which is really weird well maybe in gameplay you can change like the light color like you can with the other lights but yeah i'm pretty sure that is all for the build by items i really like these okay so now moving on to the new career that comes the pack so yesterday when i first bought the pack um i recorded myself playing with the career a little bit now i did not have time to go through the whole thing so You'll have to just play it for yourself to see everything that you can do with this new career, but I did fail a little bit. So basically, the fashion photography career isn't its own career, it's actually under the freelancer career. So you're gonna need to join the freelancer career, and once you join that, you need to select an agency and make sure to choose the tomorrow style. Now I'm not gonna read the whole description to you, but you can pause the video and read it to, uh, if you want. So once you join that, you won't really do anything, so 
You're going to need to go on your Sims phone and click check for gigs. And then it's going to pop up a thing saying select a gig and you'll have many different things to choose from. And you want to make sure to read the descriptions because it actually tells you what kind of thing you need to do when selecting the gig. So I'm going to choose athletic wear for the couch potato because um, I thought it was funny. So once you choose that, um, as you can see, it's a little bit glitchy. The performance thing is all messed up and the buttons look weird. And um, the buttons like said things like invite over director and co-star, which I think is a glitch because that's what it's supposed to say for the actor career. But, um, you know... <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but my Sims game has been glitching out a lot lately. Like the the job tab was all messy, messed up, and it would say my Sims about to age up under the thing, even though she still had like 20 days. And the character values would be all messed up. So yeah, my game has been really messed up lately. So this might just be me. But anyways, it said start at 9 a.m. Wednesday. So. At first I thought that you had to wait until that day to start to working. So I started um, using uh, one of my mods to skip time and I kept doing that until I realized the date and time they listed wasn't when you needed to start working, it was the deadline. So <laughs> yeah, make sure to keep that in mind when you play with this career that when they say starts at 9 a.m. Wednesday, they mean that that's the deadline, not when you start. So it took me a little while to figure out what I actually needed to do because it didn't really tell me under the daily tasking. So I kind of had to like read the description and stuff. But basically, um, I'm pretty sure you can just choose any sim that you know to like come and model for you. Or you can click on the little like stance thing and you can click hire a uh, fashion subject, which does cost a hundred simoleons. So then you can click on the thing and do ask to pose and choose your model. Oh, and here's me playing around with the different backgrounds that you can choose for that one thing. So after you have the perfect background, you can click on the sims and you can do different things, like talk to them about fashion and stuff, or you can actually dress them up. So my gig was for a athletic wear um, fashion company, so you can either ask the sim to like change into their athletic wear, or you can make a special outfit just for the gig, which I did. Now obviously you want to give them out outfits that will actually match what you're supposed to do. And then you can go ahead and take a picture of the sim, and this is where it gets really cool. So they completely changed the way that like the pictures work and stuff. So now you can actually like choose different emotions and poses to take a picture of a sim with. Before you were just kind of stuck with whatever pose that they did. But now you can actually change it to whatever you want. So on the left hand side you will see a bunch of different little faces. So you have different emotions like neutral, happy, uh, fashion, um, thinking, sad, happy, goofy, you know, things like that. And then once you choose the emotion that you want, you can click on the change pose button and it will change to a random pose that matches the emotion. So let's say I want to do a fashion pose and then I just change the pose and he will do a fashion pose. How cool is that? And obviously you can uh, change the filters and stuff like you were be able to before. But um, you can just keep randomizing the pose and until you get one that you want. And let's say I wanted a really dramatic uh, picture. I would choose a sad pose and then put on like a black and white filter and there you go. But I can also do like a super bright filter and choose like a really goofy pose. The possibilities are really endless. You can really just do anything that you think matches what you're supposed to do. And then you can go ahead and go to your Sims inventory and click on the picture and go into your freelancer and do submit photo for client's approval. And then it will be submitted and when your deadline is up, you will, they will tell you if they, if they think it's good or bad. Now apparently my pictures did not match the thing. So they rejected it and asked me to take more pictures. So make sure that your photo really matches what you're supposed to do or else it will get rejected like my pictures did. But um, I'm guessing that when you do do something right, then it will tell you that it's good and will give you money. Now I'm sure there is a lot more to the career than I showed off in this video but I just really did not have enough time to record myself playing the whole thing but yeah that is a look into the new career that comes in a pack so overall should you buy this pack hmm obviously it completely depends on your opinions but these are mine is the pack really horrible 
No, it's not. I think the Creatism items are okay. Some of them are cute, but the others are kind of weird and I would just not use them regularly on a sim. So the Creatism items, eh. The build and buy items, however, are really good, I think. Now some of them are a bit too modern for me and I don't think I would use them a lot. But others, I think, are really cool and cute and I would use a lot. So build and buy items, pretty good, I would say. And last but not least, the career. Now, again, I didn't really have time to play with it too much, but from what I've seen, I think the career is really cool and fun. Now, honestly, the possibilities are endless. You can choose whatever outfit you want. You can take a picture of them in front of, like, a background in your studio, or you can even go out somewhere and, like, take a scenery picture, which is really cool. And I just think that you can be really creative with this new career, and, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for me personally. I actually have a few of my sims in mind that I think this career would be perfect with, so yeah. Overall, I do think this pack is pretty good, so so I think you should take buying it into consideration. Obviously, it all depends on what you think of it, but it's really not as bad as most people say it is. But yeah, that is it for this video. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, probably a little bit longer than most of my videos are, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I hope you found it helpful, and um, I hope that you know now whether you want to buy it or not. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!